Hello everyone, my name is William and today I'm going to show you how to use the character replacement mesh. So, I've got the model here in Blender, so it's, everything's good here. I've got the textures, now I'm going to hop on in Unity. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to create a new folder in here that I'm going to call ATM. For example because it's the model I got but now we need to get the example package in here but first I'm just gonna put in this and this in here so now what I can do here is I can disable this and now it will also give me this texture here if I drag in this right here and I go right over where it is it's right here on the scene and I'm gonna drag this in so it creates me this and I will make it correct so I just need to put a sm smoothness off and now I can bring the material in here and delete this folder so now I've got everything I need, so I've got the texture here, and I've got this, and I've got this. Now all I'm missing is the example package, so I'm going to save this, I can delete it because we're not going to need it. Oops. Now I'm going to go, so you want to go in assets, and then import package, custom package. Now I'm going to go in unturned, and then bundles, source, and I'm going to take the example Assets. Open it. So now it's gonna import the um, onto assets in my Unity, so we can get um, an example on how to bundle it so right here. So as you can see, there's lots of things in here. So there's the physics and everything. So there's everything we need is in here. See so now I can click import. And now it's gonna create me the good folders in here with the good example. Now it's putting everything in the Unity. So while it does that, let's get in Blender. So in case your rotation on your model is not good, um, this one is already good. But if for you it's not, I'm going to show you how, uh, guys how to fix it. So first of all, you're going to select your object you want to change the rotation of. You're going to hit Tab to get in Edit Modes. You want to select everything with A, and you're going to rotate it um, based off the three cursors. You, so you click right here, and the cursor, and now you can go in the rotate tool, and you can change the rotation. Make sure you're in edit mode, otherwise it will not work. Then you can rotate it incorrectly. As far as the rotation of the model itself stays on zero, and then... You can change the um, where it's gonna be. So for me, it should be around 0 0.05 up on the um, x axis. Otherwise, it will um be a bit too much in the floor. But since it's um, should be for NPC users, um, you can just put it a bit up. So, it's right over here, so you, you want to change the change for pivot right up here. So, it's in uh, the top tab here, and it's this one. You want to select the 3D cursor, which make it going to take it um, from the uh, middle of the scene right here, where the red and white circle is. This is the 3D cursor. 
and if I click the object here, the point here is the uh, middle of the object, and it automatically so if if it's not selected on 3D character, it will take this one, and if and it might do something bad. So make sure you're selected on the 3D cursor so it's all good. Get back in Unity and see yeah, how it goes. So it's almost done so all we're gonna need to do here uh, is we're gonna all we're gonna need is the texture here and the clip so the model zero we're not gonna need this one we need to have a texture though for, to have this texture image this texture pattern and we're only gonna need the uh, mesh of it we're not gonna need anything else so we need the mesh and the texture, the one on a circle, not the image you use. So now we're just gonna wait for everything to load, so I'll be back when everything will be on. So now everything has been imported. So as you can see, we've got new folders in here. So we've got the Core Master Bundle example and some other folders, which is basically for the science and stuff. Now I'm gonna type in here the characters so let's look what we got here we got a bunch of folders but this one is the one we interested in it's shirts and it's character replacement image. so we're gonna open that and as we can see we've got four different things in here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go right here and show show in explore so it's gonna open the item and shirt folder so i'm going here i'm gonna copy everything that's in here and now I'm gonna go back in my assets and into my ATM folder and I'm gonna paste it everything in here. Close this up and go back in here. So first of all we want to look at the name of this thing. Character material override. So let's go back in here. I'm gonna press F2 to rename this and I'm gonna put in the same thing. Character Material of right, so it should be the same. We'll verify character material override. So I can delete this one, and now we've got this one, which is we've got the same name. I'm gonna drag it in here. Now, what we want to do now is So, first of all, we're gonna open this one, and as you can see, we have a mesh filter here. I'm gonna go back in assets, so you click the arrow here, and you wanna drag in this thing right in here. Then you can close that up. We're done with the. So that's. Normally, you could have two different models. And it's as simple as that. Now I'm gonna go in window and unturn and I'm gonna grab the bundle tool. Put it right in here. I'm gonna select my ATM folder, grab it, and then bundle ATM. Now I'm gonna save this right here. And it's gonna bundle all we need. So um quick reminder here if we go in here and look uh, make sure you do not modify anything in here you, there's no tags and no layers you need to input this is one of the only things that is different from other stuff from like making normal shirts you have to change nothing except the mesh which is in here now I'm gonna open this here I'm gonna put it on the side here and I'm open a new file explorer. Now I'll put it in the other corner. In here. So 
Now I'm gonna open this one in unturned bundles, and then I'm gonna go for items, and then shirts. She'll be right here. Now what I want to do is find character replace mesh replacement tiles. I'm gonna click F to rename it, and I'm gonna call it ATM. Right, as simple as that. Then I rename this ATM. Can modify that, and I'm gonna put it here. ATM tutorial. And then in here, we're gonna I'm gonna change the ID. So I'm gonna put it on. Um, for example, let's take this one, and I'm gonna remove this line. So now, um, what we can see here is that we can have multiple lines here. So we, we can disable the beard. So if I do that, we will be, still be able to see the hair of the character. If you want to disable this, go get this one right here. Mm, so you got had a few comment line on it. So you're gonna have to include the exclude from master bundle on it as it's not using a custom master bundle then you can disable the hair by putting in the simple command that i'm gonna put into and you could also eventually disable them uh, when you die that you cannot see it when you die so you'll see your normal character I'm going to go back in the ATM folder, and I'm going to drag and drop my ATM unit authority. So that should be all. Now, I'm going to open on turns. Right over here. Let's go play on turn. So I'll be back when the game will be finished uploading. So I'm now the the game is now open. So I'm gonna go um play. Let's take let's get on any map we want. So make sure the cheats are enabled. So I'm gonna take this one right here. Disable the cosmetics and we drop everything. I can give myself the costume right over here. So it's a shirt, so you can have pants on while wearing it. So that shall be all. And as you can notice here, the texture is not perfect, so let's back in unity and make sure you put everything here correctly right over here and it should be like that so make sure it's like that so if I normally this should be all good so now if I bundle this again Bundles, items, and send an ATM. Oops, it's on desktop. Right here. Now, what we can do is I'm gonna take off this, exit the game, and now I'm page up on my keyboard and it's going to reload the game without closing it. Let's just wait for everything to load back up.
so it should be loading it and be all done now. Go now. I can go back in the same map. And if I equip it again, it's all sharp and clean. And here we go. And now you can walk around with another model.